Hello, in this lesson we're going to talk about printing within Microsoft Excel. And it's relatively simple, but there are some features I'm hoping that uh, I can show you that you perhaps didn't know. So let's begin with some data. Now I do want to remind you that you can find step-by-step -step instructions for doing what we're doing here and a whole lot more on my website luthermaddy.com. So I have nine months worth of produce sales tracking. I have um, the different types of produce, the sales for each month, and then I have a grand total. Well, we'll assume in this case that the boss has said, OK, I want a printed copy of the first nine months. Well, we have the nine months here, so we're ready to give the boss a printout of the results. So we can go into the File menu by clicking File, and we can choose Print. Well, it's pretty much that easy. Well, not quite, because you can see by looking at the Print Preview here, it cuts off at July. The data is actually too wide to show up on a regular page in portrait orientation. Now it's a little hard to see here but after I chose the print command you can see this dotted vertical line between column H and column I. That gives me the cutoff so that tells me this part will be on page one and starting with column I that'll be on page two. Well there's a couple ways to fix this to make the boss happy. First off we'll go back into print again file and print and we could very easily switch the orientation from portrait to landscape especially if I don't have a whole lot of rows of data in this case I don't so I'm going to click the uh, portrait orientation and just choose landscape well that solves the problem but we'll assume that our boss maybe is an idiot and says I can never have anything in a landscape mode I don't know why the boss would do that but let's just assume just for fun that that's what the boss is telling us so we cannot print this in landscape and the boss will not be happy. So we're going to have to go back and change it to portrait. Well, we could give the boss what we printed, but probably he or she's not going to be real happy this way either. So there's a couple of options that we can do to fix this. The easiest way is to simply change the scaling to say, hey, print everything on one page. So if I go to the scaling, right now it says no scaling. I'll click the drop down list here. And it says, OK, what do you want to do? Fit the sheet on one page, and, and that, that will work in this case. But I also want to show you that we have the option of fitting all columns on one page or fitting all rows on one page. So I'll go ahead and choose fit all columns on one page. And as soon as I do that, I end up with all nine months, including the total. Well, this is going to be a little bit small, but at least it satisfies the boss's requirements. And everything shows up on the one page, and it is in portrait, excuse me, uh, portrait orientation. Well, OK, that solves part of our problem here. But let's assume in this case that what I really want to do is only print just a couple months worth of data. Let's assume that the boss says, now I just want to report for the first quarter. Well, in order to do that, I'm just going to select the data that I want to print. So I have columns A starting at A3 down to A9, and I'm gone down to D9 as well. I have a selection. Now, to tell Excel to print just this selection, I go back to File, I choose Print, and now in the Print What section here, notice that we have uh, active sheets. Well, I'm going to change that to the selection. So as soon as I click Selection, I end up with the selection, just the columns, the data that I had selected. Well, one more couple of uh, thing that I want to show you here is I would like to add some lines or grid lines and I like the way that Excel shows me lines here and I want to see these lines when I print as well. Now you don't have to use just the selection option. Uh, you, you can print grid lines with anything that you're printing but you do that by going into page setup. So down here in the print menu I'll go ahead and click on page setup and here I have also some scaling options so I could have gone into the scaling the long way here. I can change the landscape from portrait. I can change the margins and also the header and the footers. Add headers and footers and, and again as I mentioned you can find step-by-step -step instructions to do all of this on my webpage luthermaddy.com. Well the grid lines are under the sheet tab so if I click on the sheet tab I then in the print area here can go ahead and turn on grid lines once I turn on grid lines I click OK and now you can see that I have grid lines and it looks more like a table format all right so I could go ahead and click print I can change the printer if I wanted to I could even save this as a PDF uh, by choosing either the PDF writer that you have uh, um, Acrobat or Adobe or in this case Microsoft print PDF but if I just go ahead and choose the printer that I have I, I click print I'll end up with the printout of just the selected cells with grid lines 
All right, well, there you have it. That's how easy it is to print. And hopefully you've seen some techniques that uh, you can add to your own printing. And as uh, you want to go a little bit deeper into that, check out my website with the step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like it. Consider subscribing as well. And we'll see you in the next Excel Tips and Tricks video. Thank you.